Good day, everyone, and welcome to tonight's edition of Bible Chatter. I'm your broken-down host, Eli Jr., and welcome to tonight's show. I have to have neck surgery on March 21st because my neck can break at any time. It's acting up now worse than ever. Ow, ow. Because uh, I, 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 I got compressed. I got a compressed spine, and it's very bad. Uh, I have to have surgery soon, and I got a torn rotator cuff, and my shoulder blade is broke back here. But I'm fighting through the pain to do my show. So I hope that everyone's having a good day. Better than me. But I still have Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I know that when all this suffering that I'm going through is all over, I'll have Jesus in the end. And I just keep praying and keep praying for Jesus and his will for my life. Whatever his will is for my life, I have to accept that. So, with that being said, I am going to talk about today's topic is going to be Christian checklist. Your personal Christian checklist. Do you have a personal Christian checklist that you have every day? I am going to go over a Christian checklist right now. For Bible chatter. Question one that you should ask yourself. Do you believe that believing in Jesus is the way to get to heaven? Question two. Do you believe that you can't be saved simply by being a good person? Three. Do you believe that the Bible is the un or inhorrent word of God? Four. Do you believe that Jesus is is God, the Son, and lived a perfect life? Five, do you believe that Jesus rose from the dead? And six, do you believe that Jesus is going to return one day for his church, meaning his people, and this will be a final judgment? And then here's some behavioral questions you might want to ask yourself. Do you believe abortion is a sin? Do you believe homosexuality is a sin? Because I'm sorry, guys. I love all people, including people who are gay and lesbian, bisexual, even though it's wrong. But it's wrong. And, and, they, and, and you need to pray on it. You just need to pray to the Lord that, 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 you, that you could turn around and live according to what the Bible says you should live and to remove these feelings from you that, that, that you shouldn't have according to the Bible. Do you believe marriage is between a woman and a man to procreate humankind like it should be and anything outside of that is a sin and an offense to God? Four, do you believe that sex before marriage is a sin? Five, do you believe that culture doesn't dictate what is and isn't a sin according to God? You need to ask yourself these questions. Those, those, those behavioral questions, if you condone any of those, you got some serious problems. And I know that, that, that that's what I just said is going to upset some unbelievers and people that don't believe in God and the Bible. And some people that might be watching this do believe in same sex. But just look at it this way. If everybody became same sex lovers, the human race would die off. And I don't want to hear, well, we can make robot babies or, well, we can make artificial simulation babies. That's not what God intended. Okay. He didn't intend for us to cheat and cut corners to make babies, okay? So that we could sin. And I know that people don't want to hear this stuff. And, and a lot of churches don't want to talk about this stuff because they, they don't want to ruffle any feathers. But it's wrong. And I love all people. 
and I pray for people that they that they become uh, righteous and right in their thinking, and 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 maybe they could find someone of the opposite sex as far as that goes. But as far as abortion, it's wrong. Abortion is wrong, and that needs to be dealt with. So ask yourself all these questions. Until next time, this is your host of Bible Chatter, signing out. God bless.